Hello everyone, welcome back to another post-production tutorial. In today's video, we're going to have a look at the ripple node changes options that we have in the color tab, as well as the append node to selected clips. To start off with, let's look at append node to selected clips. This one's nice and easy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new node on my first clip here, and I'm going to make a rather intense adjustment. If I want to copy this purple node across to my other clips in my scene, I will shift click the clips that I want to include, making sure that my initial clip is still selected. I'll come up to the color tab and I'll click append node to selected clips. And you can see all of those nodes have appended onto the end of our node one. The next command we're going to look at is ripple node changes to selected clips. To start off, I'm just going to add a contrast adjustment on my first node and a warm yellow offset adjustment on my second node. And I might create a vignette on my third node, just nice and quickly here. I'm gonna copy and paste this grade to my entire scene. Now, say that I'm with a client and they've decided that they don't want this warm node, they prefer it to be pushed slightly cooler, slightly blue. This is where the ripple node changes to selected clips command is really useful. The most important thing to do before you make any changes is to make sure you've selected all of the clips you wanna ripple this change to. In this case, I want to ripple this color change to all of the clips in my scene. So I'm going to shift click my last clip to select all of my clips, making sure that my first clip is active. Now that all my clips are selected, I'm going to change my offset towards blue. And you can see that nothing happens immediately. I have to go up to my color, ripple node changes to selected clips. And you can see node two has changed to reflect the new offset. Jumping back to my first clip, say that I want to reduce the contrast on a few of these clips. So I'm just going to control click a few of these, reduce the contrast, go up to my color, ripple node changes to selected clips. And you'll see that the contrast has reduced for those three clips. Lastly, let's have a look at the ripple node changes to current group. Selecting all of my clips, I'm going to right click and add a new group. Let's call this interview. I'm going to hit OK. The green link symbol indicates all of these clips are now in a group. To simulate a real life grading situation, I'm going to jump to group pre-clip and just add some rudimentary grades. So again, contrast, a bit of warm offset, and we'll add a vignette. Because I've done these changes in my pre-clip, if I go to any of my clips in my group, you can see that this grade has been applied. Now, something very common in interviews is say that I want to make a mask around my face. Because my face is moving, I'll want to track the power window, so I won't be able to make that adjustment in the pre-clip. I'll have to jump into the clip-based grades and make that power window adjustment on the clip level. So I'm in my clip level, I'm going to go ahead, create a mask, and I'll do this nice and rough, and I'll just increase my gain. I'll copy and paste this adjustment across to all of my clips in my scene. And then I'll go into my first shot and I'll track this down and I'll do this for every shot in my scene. Okay, and let's just pretend I've done that for all the remaining shots, making sure that the mask is tracked perfectly for each one. Now, a very common task is that a client will come in or you'll come in on another grading day and you'll want to adjust your mask. Say you want to push a lot of blue into this shot and now you need this change to ripple across all of your interview shots. If I go ahead and copy this node with Control C, jump into here and hit control V, what will happen is the tracking data will paste from the previous shot. So all the tracking will be wrong. I'll control Z that. Instead, what I want is to copy just the change while retaining the tracking information from these shots. Well, it's really easy. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead, we'll make our change. So we'll make it a little, even a little bit more purple. Then we'll come up to color, ripple node changes to current group. As you can see in our thumbnails, that change has updated. And if we scroll through, you can see the tracking data is retained. So with one click, we've updated the power window for the face for the entire group. In the same way, you could just select a few clips, make that adjustment, come up to color and ripple node changes to selected clips. This will achieve the same result, retaining that tracking information on your power window. Okay, everyone, and that's rippling node changes to selected clips, groups, and appending nodes. Please forgive the horrendous grades that I've been applying to this interview clips. In real life, you'll be able to use this to make images look really pretty. If you found that helpful, like and subscribe. Leave us a comment if you have any questions, and we'll see everyone in the next video. Cheers.